when Joseph gives his family a portion of uh, Pharaoh's kingdom, we are told that Joseph provided his father, his brothers, and all his father's household with bread according to the number in their families. Joseph provides bread for his father. And this is a figure of Christ's sacrifice. All sacrifices in the Bible are ways of feeding God. Sacrifices are eaten by God. What does God do with a sacrifice? He consumes it. And they are either pleasing to him or they are not. They either satisfy him or they don't. They have pleasing aromas or they don't. And if the sacrifice is lukewarm, he spits it out of his mouth. He consumes bread sacrifices like the angel of the Lord does that Gideon offers up. God eats his sacrifices. And all of this points to Jesus offering himself as food to God. Jesus provides bread for his heavenly father by offering himself to God, as the, the writer of Hebrews tells us, just as Joseph provides bread for his father. Jesus' broken body, uh, we are told by Jesus himself that it is bread. It is bread to eat, and it, this is offered to God. We're also told that Joseph provides bread for his brothers and all of the people in his father's household, and that is us. That is you. You are the brothers of Christ. You are the people in his father's household. He provides them bread. He provides them himself. He provides uh, a sacrifice that was made at Calvary 2,000 years ago, and that is the bread of life. He provides this for you. He gives himself to you as the bread of life. So come and welcome to Jesus Christ.